Welcome back everybody. In today's lesson for October 2021, we're going to be doing silhouettes and we're going to make it really easy, but it's a very effective and awesome looking page when it's done. So what I'm going to use is I have these old calendars, 2016 calendars of sunsets. If you can find a sunset calendar or uh, look in books for pictures of, of uh, sunsets or a really nice uh, landscape of some sort <clears throat> and pick that up. Um, or if you want to do something a little different, you can too. Um, so you can watch what I'm going to do with the, these sunsets. And I've already glued one onto this uh, existing file folder. This is my October file folder. So what I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm going to use this as my background. Um, and I'm going to add the silhouette. And part of this is also going to be um, used as the background. It's kind of a mix of two, and I'm going to do something a little on the Halloween side because it is Halloween. So <clears throat> I want to have, let's see, I, will this be big enough? Mm, I need it a little bigger. I want a round circle. Um... Here we go. Look at this. This will work. That's, that'll be pretty good. <clears throat> I think. Or is it too big? Hmm. Maybe a tad smaller. I want something that's not horribly big. Um. Do I have another round container? I don't think I have a compass. Here. Any small? Maybe these are smaller. They're a little bit smaller. Those are too big. <coughs> so just thought, try and find something. I might have to make it this size. I guess I'll have to do it. Is this round though? I want it to make sure it's round. And I want to leave. Mm. No, I think I'm going to use this. Yeah. Bite the bullet. So I'm drawing a circle. I'm just using a HP pencil. <clears throat> and I'm basically going to be um, drawing in I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't. I'm <clears throat> drawing in um, this where I can paint this in black. Um, so the <clears throat> so I'll uh, be putting in. I want to put in a little silhouette of a person standing here, kind of a girl, I think. So mm, that'll be.
somebody just standing here. My eraser. Oh, there it is. Don't want her cone head. <laughs> it's basically like that. So it's just the silhouette of her. Alright, so you can just see a bit of her nose, not a whole lot though. And then <clears throat> I'm going to have brush and trees and stuff like that all the way around. Um, so now what I want to do is I'm going to just take some black acrylic paint. And I'm going to paint in most of the area of around her. Most of this paint. I got some goobers in there. Yeah, it's got some chunky stuff in there. So it's gonna have to go. And I want a thick coat because I want it to um, cover. <clears throat> off of me. So let's take a fairly um, wide brush for now because we may as well get as much done quickly. No point in doing a small <clears throat> let's see what I got here though. I guess I can use this one. This is an angled and it's a number, it's a half inch. So all this is going to be um, painted black. And I'm just using craft paint. You can use um, any of the acrylics that you have, don't go out and buy uh, a certain brand because I'm using it. Use what you got. So this is very simple, but it looks awesome when it's done. Um, you can use it in many ways, too. So this is going to be like she's standing on um, the edge of a stream. 
pond, whatever. Make it water um, just a little bit choppy looking, so I don't want a really smooth looking edge to it. And then over here, same thing. All of this is going to be painted. And you can do this <clears throat> technique for any season, any um, holiday, um, pretty well for any subject matter. And all you have to do, if you don't want to do your own silhouettes, there are literally thousands of silhouettes that you can download. Um, on the internet or you can also if you find something you like in a magazine just cut it out as a silhouette you could make your own silhouettes by um, making your own scene so you can still find the shapes of houses say or buildings trees whatever And cut them out. You can paint them to black if you wanted to. And then uh, use them in your scenes. I'm going to be adding stuff to this so <clears throat> and I can't cover her up totally around her it has to have a little bit of this background or we wouldn't know what it was so this will be covered I'm sorry if you hear the dogs upstairs. I'm doing this video in the evening and this is when they go crazy. Running around, chasing each other.
I'll clean up the edges on that in a minute. Okay. <clears throat> if you want, you could do a template too. If you find that it's too confusing, do a template first. going to get a smaller brush now round just so I can clean up around her skirt here or jacket or whatever it is you're wearing fix their nose And it's windy out. Here's blowing. Okay, and now I can take either a stiffer brush or something that's got. Um, these are called rake brushes, and these are great for uh, when you want to add grass, that type of thing. So I'm going to have some grasses and stuff in here. And we'll add a bunch of other cover 
through some of these just so that it kind of looks like the water's edge. Your, your mind will fill in the blanks. So don't worry um, too much about it. Of how realistic it's looking. And then we'll take that script liner. Or you can take Posca too. A black Posca. Uh, I think I have it out here somewhere. some just make sure you don't get your hand in the you can add some tree limbs And then a few bigger trees here. So we're going to add a little bit of thickness to the branches now. paint them in or you can use the Posca and just fill it. It's all black. And there's tons, tons of uh, silhouette of trees. So if you're not sure or you don't like the way your trees look, just go and look online and you'll find tons of uh, ways of drawing them. Or you might find a silhouette you can trace. Just Play. We can add some heavier ones in here. There would be some heavier limbs. If you got any of your calendars sitting around, old calendars, this is a great way of putting in a journal page, mixed media journal page. It's fast and it's quick and it looks great.
Then we can add uh, some more. Stuff down there. Uh, maybe some brush. So let's get that one brush out again. Add a few more. Just play with it until you get it the way you want. Texture, you dab. That'll kind of look like a brush area. Overlap stuff. A little, little of that um, peek through though, the background. I think I'll put some birds in maybe or bats or whatever. Let's see. Small brush again. birds sitting on here or the limbs let's see hmm. or maybe just flying put a whole lot in because you can um, put too much in so it kind of look doesn't look real maybe a few uh, smaller lines in with a, a pen Tree limbs do get smaller as they go up the tree, and you have your smaller branch areas. Get somewhere in here. A little more thick. I'm gonna fix her nose a bit. Bring her out a little bit. There. 
right. See that? So with that landscape, I made a little stream. And you could call that a moon or what or whatever. And then the clouds are were, all, were already there. And it gives it a really awesome look. So that's basically it. So I hope you liked it and I hope you'll give a try with um, calendar papers or magazine photos, travel book or whatever and see what you can make. They don't have to be this big. You can make small ones too and see what you can do with it and uh, make a cool looking sunset silhouette. All right, so this was a short one, but I think it looks like you took a long time to do. So give it a try and uh, make sure you tag me on all the social media sites so I can see what you've done. So we'll see you on Tuesday and uh, have a fantastic Halloween. Bye for now. I didn't record it. Wait a minute.